Hi, my name is Marco Cantu, and this is a short introduction about Brass Studio 10 Seattle for this uh, Saturday Deep Dive. Um, why the product has this name? This is kind of the first question many people are asking ourselves. As a company, we really wanted to go beyond the XC series, which uh, brought a lot of technologies, 64-bit uh, Windows, Mac, iOS, Android, um, multi-device development, the Fire UI multi-device designer, and a lot more. So Brass Studio XC was a great series of releases, but now we really want to offer a renewed developer experience, have a lot of focus around Windows 10, and so that's why we went for this name. And going forward, 10 is the series name, so we're going for 10.1, 10.2, and uh, attach a um, city name to the release, likewise what Apple is doing and partially what Google is also doing with Android. So first of all, to understand why we're doing it, let me spend like really two minutes around the current landscape. Uh, Windows 10 is available, is being very successful. The initial launch, initial deployment numbers have gone beyond expectations and more important for us and for you, a significant number of businesses plan to adopt Windows 10 in first year. This did not happen with Windows 8, of course, but at the same rate, not even with Windows 7. So it could be the most significant transition of the Windows platform in quite a few years. So that's why Windows development, which is still a main focus of 90% of the developers, Windows remains a key element of the strategy, even if mobile development is extremely important to 80%, more than 80% of the developers with a focus on Android leading over Apple, iOS, and Windows Phone. And by the way, we do target Android and Apple with our technology, and we, and Microsoft is making available a way to run Android APKs on Windows Phone. So we should be able to target the three main platforms, not only the two main ones. Mobile trends keep rising. Again, Android and iOS combined cover 95% of the market, but with the Android bridge for Windows Phone, we should be able to cover an even higher percentage. Numbers are astonishing. Over billion, over 1 billion smartphones sold a year these days with uh, 2.53 billion in use worldwide. But that's not the only trend. I mean, Windows 10 is key, mobile is key, but uh, Internet of Things, uh, smart devices are exploding and are starting to transform businesses. So they have a direct impact on business which is extremely relevant in many, probably most, business areas. Retail, marketing, production, entertainment, traveling, sports, but there are way more than these areas for IoT scenarios. And without forgetting some things that we now almost take for granted, like cloud connectivity, multi-tier development, uh, smart local caching, and many other trends of the past few years. So if this is a scenario, Brad Studio is the ultimate application development platform for Windows, Mac, mobile, and IoT. Focus of our solution is to build fast application and build applications fast. Build applications that are data rich, uh, visually engaging, and hyper-connected. Data rich meaning able to access any database, but even beyond databases, use REST uh, client libraries, use uh, access to cloud services, to backend as a service providers, easy parsing of JSON and XML. Hyper-connected through all of the possible technologies out there and visually engaging, offering two different UI libraries, one focused on Windows VCL, and the other focused on cross-platform, and that's FireMonkey. We are introducing, as you probably already know, and you'll get all of the details later in this session, incredible Windows 10 support that goes from WinRT direct access for existing VCL applications 
two new VCL controls which we haven't introduced for a few years. We are doubling the amount of memory available to the IDE, make it possible to compile very large applications. Some of our customers reported success up to 37 million lines of uh, code within their applications. And beyond that, I think a lot of new productivity features that go from enhancements in the editing experience to new things, even in the updating specter and in other standard or classic areas of the product. We are introducing a new C++11 compiler for Win32. So based on the same LLVM infrastructure and CLang infrastructure that we're using for the other compilers, uh, this brings 32-bit and 64-bit Windows development for C++ at the highest uh, compatibility with C++11 specification. It's not just a CLang based compiler, it's a CLang enhanced compilers because we do have RAD, PME and Reach RTTI available for all platforms and we have ARC available for C++ on mobile which is a rather unique uh, proposition. We do have a product that allows you to create hyper-connected applications with a lot of different technologies. We're not selling you one solution, but let your application be open to any available technology. And multi-device, because with FireMonkey, you can really target large and small devices, any form factor within the same source code, which are absolutely fabulous uh, multi-device uh, designer. At the same time, you're building a single application, but you can natively compile for desktop and mobile using the significant number of compilers, I think 14 compilers that we currently ship with RAD Studio. It is IoT ready with Bluetooth, Bluetooth LE, beacons, proximity awareness, support for specific devices, sensor data, and also the capability to do local storage with uh, databases and enhance and empower your smart devices. And it is rapid application development. It's not that you have to write 200 or 2000 lines of code to get something showing on screen. You build application step by step, you build your UI visually, you can have live data design time, even if the data comes from a database, from a remote REST client, or from a backend provider. And this lets a lot of our developers build applications significantly faster than other solution and even use the same application again for desktop and mobile, multiplying the advantage of our RAD solution. So RAD Studio 10 Seattle is a tool for developers and here you have the chance over the next few hours to go through all of the details and understand the core technologies that are in the product and the new features that were added in uh, 10 Seattle. And let me finish with this customer quote, the most stable release of a RAD Studio I can remember. So that's absolutely great to know. And we've received lots of great uh, quotes from developers all over the world. Uh, the trial version is available, so you can grab that if you haven't updated to 10 Seattle. But uh, great quotes, uh, good success on people having large projects, stable IDE, feature sets, getting to Windows 10 right when it's available. All of that is there. Um, there was a question that came up about uh, upgrade pricing, and so Rad Offer has all the special offers. If you go to www.embarkadero.com/slash Rad Offer, R A D O F F E R, uh, included in Red Studio 10 Seattle as you upgrade or buy a new license, uh, all sorts of bonus packs with Marco Cantu's Object Pascal ebook, Nick Hodge's uh, More Coding in Delphi, his second book, uh, the Meta Converter, the premium style files that you'll see in a couple minutes. Uh, also, we have a buy one, get one free that's available between now and the end of the month. So uh, also a 10% discount off the upgrade or, or list price. So all of that is available as well. So we'll continue on. If I can okay, get always back. Remember to Go ahead, Jim. 
the pricing, the best upgrade pricing is if you buy update subscription, and then you get the updates for free for a year. So that's if you want to get a good update price, that's the way to go.